what is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a very special tutorial slash customs video for you guys a little bit of action figure surgery in itself here as we have kevin owens and stone cold steve austin if you guys watched monday night raw literally a few hours ago man i got inspired man if you guys did not watch the show well stone cold steve austin came out yeah you thought brad it was actually kevin owens dressed up as stone cold steve austin and it's so cool too because stone cold steve austin is one of my favorites of all time and then to have one of my favorite current guys in the world of professional wrestling and Kevin Owens having this sort of like fantasy feud going on. I don't agree with everything about the feud, but this was a really awesome moment and I wanted to replicate it in figure form here today, man. So we have the full deal. If you guys missed it, I'll pull up images of Kevin Owens dressed up as Stone Cold Steve Austin. I thought he legitimately shaved his head for this segment, but it looks like he just had like a bald cap on. You can kind of see the makeup and stuff, but today you probably won't notice all that, but you know, we're going to get into it, man. It's going to be really legit. If you guys have been a fan of the channel, if you've been here for a while, you do know that I have the ability to make any WWE action figure ball. I've done tutorials on it, and I'm going to do it again here today. We're going to attempt to turn this Kevin Owens Elite Series 91 figure into the mock Stone Cold Steve Austin Kevin Owens from Monday Night Raw last night. Monday Night Raw literally ended three or four hours ago, and I'm about to waste my Elite 91 Kevin Owens, my only Elite 91 Kevin Owens, my extreme champion. I'm about to waste this figure right now on this video to attempt it for you guys. So just for that reason, leave a like on the video video comment down below please and let's try to spread this video out to as many people as possible now with that being said today after i customize this i'm literally going to get up in the morning and go travel to every walmart and see if i can find another kevin owens elite to replace this one so that's gas that's the customization of this figure and possibly losing it and then the purchase of a new figure i'd really appreciate it so with that being said guys let's go ahead and dive into the supplies we have i think my formula is going to work we might run into issues i hope that we don't but i had a couple formulas i was playing around with but anyways guys if you guys want to complete this custom, you if you want Kevin Owens to be the most complete or the most updated, you are going to need the most recent Elite, all right? You're going to need the Elite 91, a beautiful Kevin Owens, one of my favorite figures of the year so far. Just a beautiful specimen. Just so beautiful. Oh my God in heaven. Double jointed arms, beautiful head sculpt, a great attire, stun the world shirt. The irony in that. Extreme Championship doesn't come with it, but here we go right here. You do need this. This is a beautiful looking head sculpt. We are going to be messing around with this guy. You are going to need this figure. Outside of that, I would recommend having the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin. The, re the reason being is because he comes with the shirt that he literally wore last night, Kevin Owens. It's the Austin 316. It does have the graphic on the back. The exact shirt that Kevin Owens wore last night to mock Stone Cold Steve Austin. So we have our updated KO. We have our Stone Cold shirt. Next up, you may need a couple of knee braces. Now, I'm going to play around with this a little bit. I was thinking of two different looks. I think I figured out what I want to do. We're going to figure it out here. Also, to do this custom, you're also going to need a Dremel. Now, this Dremel that I have is the Dremel... I don't know what freaking model this is. Christ, it's the plug-and-play kind. Outside of that, you're also going to need some 100% acetone, 100% pure acetone, a towel, some paint brushes, and some paints here. Now, I'll tell you what these three are. You got some Ceramco Blissful Blue. You got some Multi-Surface Light Blue Superior Coverage Folk Art Garbage. Honestly, I don't want to use this, but we'll hope to God it works. We're going to find the hell out, Brad, I'll tell you that. And then we have Pavement. I'm going to use this for the tattoos that are not present on this figure after we take this white wrist tape off, and I'm going to use these as dry brushes techniques which we'll get into you're also going to need some john cena short jorts now if you have the lighter color it's probably better you won't have to paint them like i'm going to do like give it the dry brush detail but these shorts right here are going to be plugged onto this kevin owens because they're both on ball joints so i'm going to put these legs onto here we got a lot of stuff to get through man but you're also going to need where the hell's my exacto knife you know what i'd recommend having an exacto blade i don't really think you need one but you need some sort of cutting utensil i don't know if you exactly need an exacto knife but i would probably recommend it I'm going to use these like scissor clippers right here and you're going to want to be very careful about it. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this shirt off. All right, we're going to cut this shirt off. Hate to do it, but it's something that has to be done. So I think I've already cut it now. I was going to say I'll I'll cut it from a different spot so it could be hidden. Okay, I didn't quite cut it. All right, I'm going to cut it right down the seam right here. The torso will be covered anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I cut it that much. I mean, I don't want to like damage the hell out of the figure. All right, there's that, and then we got to cut the shoulder piece up here. What we're going to do is put that right in that gap right here. Just like so. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to use this shirt, you know? I'm not going to use this freaking shirt. All right, boom. There we go. All right. 
Step one is completed. If you guys were ever wondering what the hell Kevin Owens looked like under his shirt, there you go. You get this potato dumpling drunk Buddha body. Now, I love Kevin Owens with everything in me. I think he's perfect the way he is. I'm just making jokes, all right? That's actually a Coach Hines joke. If you get the reference, you're a real one. So what we're gonna do next, man, we cut the shirt off. That is step number one. Next up, I don't know if I want to acetone off the arms. Oh yeah, you're also not gonna need these hands. Let's go ahead and unplug these hands. Because they do have the white peg, even if you acetoned off this white, it wouldn't do much for you. So you are gonna remove the hands next. Alrighty. I think our next step does need to be, actually, okay. So Kevin Owens is pretty much prepped and ready to go. He's gonna go over here. I'll probably save the bald spot to the end, but that's our first step. Next up, we're gonna have to remove these legs here and put them in here, but we need to remove these knee pads and knee braces from the Stone Cold Steve Austin and take the lower legs off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. This actually is a really rare figure. You know, I wouldn't recommend using this, but I have like seven of them from a Target sale like four or five, six years ago. So I got blessed with that. If you have extra knee braces and these open knee pads, you are gonna wanna use them here today. All right, Brad, there's the knee brace. Knee pad ain't gonna come off, bro. Knee pad's not coming off. I can tell you that right now because these boots, we're gonna have to heat these up. We can, however, slide the other knee brace off. So we are gonna do that. I think Kevin Owens went the full mile, man. I don't know if he had knee pads on, but I know he had the two knee braces. So if he doesn't end up having the knee pads, we'll just throw the knee braces on there and kind of wing it. I don't think he had the knee pads, but it may complete the look. We'll kind of see, you know, it's not, it's not gonna probably be a million percent accurate, but uh, I wanna complete the look. I want it to look nice and everything like that. So there's our two knee braces and now we have to heat this up. So what we're gonna do, you also are gonna need a hair dryer. I think I forgot to mention that. We do have the white trusty hair dryer here. We are, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna use that, but go ahead and scoot all this ish out of the way. You don't really wanna heat nothing up and ruin it. So I guess the other thing you would need is an elite Stone Cold Steve Austin or the ultimate Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're gonna remove the knees and lower legs to either A, an elite Stone Cold Steve Austin or the ultimate, you know, the same one you got the shirt that you're gonna need from. So I'm gonna slide these knee pads on just a second. All right, guys, I'm a dumb idiot jackass, and I forgot that we need to remove the legs of the Kevin Owens as well. So I did skip over that step. We'll come back to it, of course. But oh my God in heaven, Brad, we haven't done surgery in a minute, so my fingers are going to get ripped off, bro. Oh my Lord in heaven. Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and just move these boots off. I hate removing these Stone Cold boots because they're really hard to get back on to that peg because it's so nubby, you know? It's like a little tiny nub peg. It's not like a long peg that you can easily... We are going to remove this right here. Now, I know people have used... I've never done this technique before with, like, John Cena legs and then having excess sometimes, so that's kind of annoying, but the Stone Cold Steve Austin lower legs, but I've seen people do the custom before, like making WrestleMania camo shorts Austins and stuff like that out of John Cena parts, so I think it is possible with just basic part switching and nothing crazy, but we shall find out here today, man. We do need to pop the knee out, though, not just the freaking lower leg. God! We can remove this. Now, I thought about torso cracking, but I didn't want to do all that, bro. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna be about that life today. All right, so we got our boots, our knee pads. There's the Cena. There's the legs that we're gonna use. Will this come out? Of course not. Gonna need way more heat than that, you dumb idiot. Here goes round two. We're gonna stick this. We're gonna put Kevin Owens right here. Heat up the, you know, the ball joints right there. Giggity. And then heat this up as well. So we're gonna heat all this up, man. All right, back to the lab as we heat up all of this stuff and hopefully we'll be able to get it off. All right, Brad, what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the Kevin legs like so. Again, man, I'm going to keep these intact. I'm going to be plugging these on my new Elite Kevin Owens if I find one. I may not even find one, bro. Next up, we are going to go ahead and put these on here. Might as well. Nice. God in heaven, that's hot. Woo. All right, there's our Kevin Owens base kind of deal going on there. And then we do have to, again, remove that and then remove this. Jesus, man. Ah! All right, Stone Cold's good. He can go back there. And then here is the leg. So, see, the thing is, is you want to get this. We got to remove this. And it's so damn thick, bro. 
Ooh, it's so thick. Okay, Brad, I just had to, like, I just went on a marathon of trying to assault this Kevin Owens to get these knee pad little knees out of the here. I don't ever recommend that ever, man. No customs work doing it. Don't even try to attempt it. F it. Just forget about it. I know you wanted to do it, but it's not worth it. Move on. Okay, so I ended up struggling with that with the trusty hair dryer. I went to the kitchen. I boiled water. I tried that method. Still struggled and finally got it. So it took me a total of maybe an hour to get all that done. So, <laughs> It's 2.30 a.m. and I still got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Nonetheless, man, we finally got it on there. Now, I guess the next step would be putting these up in here. I feel like that would be the next step. God, I hope it works. I'm gonna throw fits if it doesn't. But let's try it anyway, you know? Yeah. I think we should, yeah, let's go ahead. All right, guys, I got this one. I couldn't get it on camera, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then I'll pick it back up. It's, like, really, really, really challenging, to be honest with you, man. So probably should have went with a different method, but here we are, man. Just, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to swing it. We'll see what's going on, and uh, we're going to try to get this thing going. All right, man, here's our updated KO. We got the lower legs on there. We are going to take that tattoo off later, but now I think our next step, uh, I don't know if my next step wants to be acetoning the arms or go ahead and dremeling everything here. I think I'm gonna do the bald head last. I think that's what I'm gonna do there, but as far as the rest of it, I think I'm just gonna work from bottom up. So I guess I'm gonna start dremeling this. I may dremel these pockets completely off. Not exactly sure about that, but I do have to... I guess what you'll see next is gonna be me... I guess what you'll see next is kind of just a time lapse, you know? Dremeling, painting, all those different things, man. So let's go ahead and tee it up.
last, the Kevin Owens Stone Cold Steve Austin custom is finished. Took me maybe two or three hours to finish this custom here. Took me all night, actually, so please leave a like, man. I'd really, really appreciate it, man. I think it came out pretty damn good, man. Down here on the knee, down here for the knee braces, what I did was just take off the bottom part of the Stone Cold Steve Austin knee braces and then just, just pushed them up in there, and it, it works pretty good here. Uh, the, the extra is flapping off here. I could easily, like, snip that off and then, like, glue it in place to to the to the lower leg i don't know what i'll do there but again it's probably just going to be a display piece so it's nothing special you know you got the ultimate edition t-shirt on there do have the bald head sculpt here it could probably be cleaner it could probably look a lot better but it's there you know it's definitely there it is a bald kevin owens now and you got all the tattoos on there the hand tats you got you know the the shorts are on there the knee brace the boots that he wore were a little bit different they were like walmart brand man they were like just straight up walmart brand it's like he got to the arena and they were like you're gonna dress up like like stone cold and so he was like, oh, damn, I got to go to Walmart and get some freaking boots so I can pull this off. So he got the short boots there, and that's all that was. But I think KO turned out pretty damn cool. That's pretty damn cool, man. So I, I like that. I, I, I like that a lot. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the KO Austin 316 down below. I thought the segment was brilliant, how he kind of punked the, the Chicago crowd there, pun intended. Kind of punked them twice there, having Stone Cold, you know, it made us think that Stone Cold was there. But there's the Austin 316 KO, man. Hopefully this segment, this match, whatever this is, it may is worth a damn but let me know what you think of the ko down in the comment section below but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like i don't know ko when he when he punked us all you cross the line